everyone welcome to the next session of finite element analysis in this session i am solving a derivation of rectangular element with four nodes at vertices let's see what are the shape functions for a rectangular element now here you can see a has coordinate x1 y1 b has coordinate x2 y2 c has coordinate x3 y3 and d has coordinate x4 y4 this is my x axis y axis this is the node 0 So here you need to note down their value. That is, this is zero, comma zero. This length I have marked as L. So this will be L comma zero. This height is H. So this will be L comma H. And this point is zero comma H. So these are the coordinates which you need to mark. Now they are at the vertices of the rectangle. This is the same thing that I have written as I just told you. So you have to note that since our one end or one corner of the rectangle is touching zero comma zero, that is origin of the coordinate system. Hence, I am going to consider here something which is called as local coordinate system. Now there are two types of coordinate system, as you know, one is local and one is global. Global means somewhere in between over here of the coordinate system. Local means when you touch one end and you are solving. Uh, okay when i talk about local coordinate system this will be in the form of x bar and y bar this is something which you need to note now let's take an equation as we have taken for triangular element if you remember there were three nodes at the vertices and we had taken an equation which is for displacement u you are also i'm taking a equation of u that is c1 plus c2 x bar plus c3 y bar plus c4 x bar y bar now since there are four what i says i need to take four constants c1 c2 c3 c4 previously we had only three nodes so we had taken only three unknown c1 c2 and c0 now let's solve this i'll mark this as equation 1 i will be calculating c1 c2 c3 c4 and substituting in this equation of u now when i have to calculate uh displacement let's talk about each node so when i'm talking about node 1 i just wrote it is at 0 comma 0 which means my x bar y bar is 0 0 so when i substitute what remains is only c1 so therefore i can say i got the value of c1 directly as u1 next if i solve for u2 which is second node the value of x is l and y is 0 which is x bar y bar so when i substitute here i'll have c1 plus c2 x bar is l y bar is 0 so this two terms will become 0 now let's substitute therefore u2 is equal to c1 is already u1 plus c2 into l so therefore i can write down c2 here is equal to u2 minus u1 upon l now i've calculated two of them next i'm going for u3 for the third node i wrote l and h are x bar and y bar so when i substitute here in this equation 1 it's going to be a long one uh, i have c1 plus c2 x bar okay x bar is l so i'll just change this to l then i have c3 into h plus c4 l h this is what i'm going to obtain now here i'm going to substitute c1 therefore u3 is equal to c1 is u1 C two is U two minus U one upon L into L, so these two will get cancelled. Plus C three H plus C four L H. Now this will be U three is equal to U one plus U two minus U one. I'm just opening this bracket. These two terms are already cancelled. Plus C three H plus C four L H. Now here, if you observe, the only thing that I can do is cancel out U one. and this will still remain the way it is therefore i can just take this here u3 minus u2 is equal to c4 lh plus c3 h so i just mark this as equation 2 and i leave it here next i'll go for u4 therefore u4 is equal to now if you look at this diagram it is 0 comma h that is the coordinate so when i substitute here x terms will be 0 and only these two terms will remain so c1 plus c3 y bar y bar is h and c1 is u1 plus c3 into h so therefore i get c3 as u4 minus u1 upon h 
Now I can substitute this value of C3 in this equation. So when I substitute this 3, In 2, I will get u3 minus u2 is equal to c4 lh plus c3 is u4 minus u1 upon h into h. You can see it's multiplied with h. These two are cancelled out. So what remains is therefore, I have u3 minus u2. These two terms will also be shifted here minus u4 plus u1 is equal to c4 lh. So therefore I can say C4 is equal to, let's rearrange U1 minus U2 plus U3 minus U4 upon LH. So now I have found all the values of C1, C2, C3 and C4. I will be substituting them in equation 1. So I get therefore U is equal to, I have C1 which is U1 plus C2. C2 is U2 minus U1 upon L into x bar plus c3 c3 is u4 minus u1 upon h into y bar and c4 is u1 minus u2 plus u3 minus u4 upon lh into x bar y bar now here if i want to take u1 terms together from here i'll have 1 from here i have minus x bar upon l then u1 term appears here as minus y bar upon h and here also it appears as x bar y bar upon lh. Next let's take the u2 terms together. It is present here as x bar upon l and here as minus x bar y bar upon lh. Next let's take u3 terms together. It's only here which is x bar y bar upon lh. And last u4 is existing here y bar upon h and lastly here as minus x bar y bar upon lh. Now if I want to just write this in compact form I'll write it as u1 phi1 plus u2 phi2 plus u3 phi3 plus u4 phi4. So when I write this in summation form I'll have j is equal to 1 to 4 I'll have uj into Phi j. So this is how u can be, displacement can be represented. Now here these are the phi terms. So let's write them down. So from here I get phi 1 as 1 minus x bar upon L minus y bar upon h plus x bar phi bar upon LH. Now here if you observe from these two terms, let the first two terms be as they are. From here if I take minus y bar upon h common, this becomes 1 minus x bar upon L. Now you can see these two terms are common. So 1 minus x bar upon L into 1 minus y bar upon h. This is my phi 1. Next let's talk about phi 2. Phi 2 is from here. It will be x bar upon L minus x bar y bar upon LH. So let's take x bar upon L common. I have 1 minus y bar upon H. So this is my phi 2 for a rectangular node. Next I'll talk about phi 3 this term. Directly it is given. I don't have to modify it. I'll just write it the way it is. And last is phi 4 the fourth shape function y bar upon H minus x bar y bar upon LH. Let's, let's take y bar upon h common 1 minus x bar upon l. This is my phi 4. So here phi 1, phi 2, phi 3, phi 4 are my shape functions for a rectangular element with 4 nodes at vertices. One thing which you need to remember is I have written in local coordinate system. One of the coordinate is 0 comma 0. It can be any coordinate. It is not compulsory that the A1 only has to be taken. You can take any other node but see to it that you take at least one node as 0 comma 0. So with this I end the session. In the next session I will show you a numerical on this topic. See you in the next session. Thank you.